your curiosity. Okay, the last one, which is the society faced a short run trade off between inflation and unemployment. We saw that an inflation is very bad, right? In our previous principle, too much, you know, you know, money you are issuing and what happened, prices are rising. But look at that, this is some kind of benefit, right? Inflation increase, more employment and unemployment decreases. What? It says that if inflation increase, employment increase, more jobs, right? But it says in short run, right? So this benefit gonna be sh only short lived. So what is the, you know, the logic is that if price start rising, What happened? Supplier. They would say that, oh my God, the price is gonna start rising. We will earn more profit. They will see profit. So they will hire more workers to work or produce the product. More workers means more which means higher and higher employment and less unemployment. See, this is unemployment, right? But this phenomena only short lived when they see that prices start rising, people have tendency to pay for the product, right? They can afford $100, for example, Windows subscription, but if the Windows sub subscription is increasing, to $1 million and nobody will buy Windows, Windows subscription. Then I would lay off my workers. Then in long run, if inflation rises, unemployment decreases. Oh, sorry, unemployment also rises, but this is a case of long run. So let's discuss this slide. Here we go. In long run, a higher level of prices is the primary effect of increasing the quantity of money that is too advanced at this level. I'm not going into that. The short story is that the short term inflation causes increase in the amount of money, high demand, more jobs, right? How it can increase the amount of money because people are having more jobs, more jobs means they have now salaries and when they have salaries, definitely they will spend more. When this increase their consumption, what happened? They're gonna be more, uh, you know, demand more jobs, but that heavenly phenomena only short lived. That's it. So the trade off between inflation and unemployment the rise in inflation causes inflation to push, to produce more goods, which causes decline in unemployment. So you understand this concept? Okay, that's all. So we have successfully concluded our today's lecture. So we talked about the syllabus, we talked about the exam policy, we talked about the behavior and talk about the, you know, how we are going to structure. So I'm gonna be uploading the links of this lecture. I also have pre-recorded lecture as well from our last lecture. I would be giving you the links right now. So after this class, I would be uploading the PPTs, the book chapter, and the links of our pre-recorded lectures right away on our Blackboard and our WeChat as well, right? So before going, I would ask any question from our today's lecture. No. No? Okay. No. Okay. 
Okay, that's all. Thank you for this class. So see you next week. Next week we will talk about the market equilibrium and we officially start our uh, microeconomics. All right. See you. Thank you. Okay.